man who ranks before me because he was before me. And he will take away the sin of the world. And they came this one and he recognized him externally and said, Behold the Lamb of God. And the two disciples who heard him followed him. And then Jesus turned and saw the two and asked them, What do you see? And they said to him, Where are you staying? Now that is tonight's subject. Where are you staying? Man is the ark of God. And like the ark, all things exist in the human imagination, which is the reality of man. Man's true being is his own wonderful human imagination. And all things exist in the human imagination. But we are told the ark is built on three levels the lower, the second, and the third deck. The physical, the psychological, and the spiritual. Where you live physically, that's easy to discover. Whether you tell it to me or not, I could easily find out where you live. Where you live psychologically is more difficult. But I'll tell you where you live psychologically. That state of consciousness to which you most often return constitutes your psychological dwelling place. You may live in a palace physically and dwell in a cesspool psychologically. For that state of consciousness, you may have a fortune, and night after night you are afraid of losing. That's where you live, in the state of fear. You may have nothing, and yet live night after night in the state of optimism. That's where you live psychologically. But I'll tell you, you and I live spiritually in the same place. We live as one man. Contracting our infinite senses, we behold multitude. Or expanding, we behold one. As one man, all the universal family. And that one man we call Jesus, the Christ. And he and us, and we in him live in perfect heart in Eden, the land of life. You may not know it, but you never left it. You never left the land of life. That perfect heart. And yet here in this fragmented world, we seem to be in conflict with each other. Here we are, all of us, fighting one against the other, and yet we are one man. And that one man we call, in Scripture, Jesus the Christ.